Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this absolute value inequality. Now remember, when we're solving absolute value inequalities, basically what we're looking into doing is being able to apply our transformations with this. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, not apply our transformations. We want to solve for our two cases. So we need to break it up to the case where our absolute value can be dealing with a positive number inside the absolute value, as well as the negative number in the absolute value, but still equal to 10. So to do that, we can get rid of our uh, absolute value by creating our two cases. Here's going to be our positive case, and then our negative case. And now, from here, I can basically, basically just go ahead and solve. And I know auto, um, a lot of you automatically see the fraction, and you say, I don't want to deal with fraction, so I'll solve this one way with the fraction and one way without the fraction, and you'll notice that it's not as bad as it has to be. Um, <clears throat> first way, let's just add 3, add 3. So therefore, I have 1 fourth, what, yeah, 1 fourth x equals 13. Now, whenever I want to get rid of a fraction, I can just multiply by the reciprocal. So multiplying by the reciprocal of uh, 1 fourth is just multiplying by 4 over 1. Now remember, this 13 we can rewrite as 13 over 1, because it's a whole number. And therefore, any number multiplied by its fractions goes to 1. So x equals 13 times 4 is 1326, so we'll have 52. All right. I go ahead and plug 52 back into this equation and make sure that it's going to work. And 52 times 1 fourth is 13, minus 3 is 10. Good. The next thing is, if you just want to get rid of fractions, not even have to deal with fractions at all, you can always look into your fraction and multiply it by a multiplier that's going to get rid of your fraction. If you only have one, then that's the number, that's the multiplier you want to. If you have multiple fractions, then you're going to want to multiply it by the greatest common denominator. So I'll multiply everything by 4. And I multiply every single term by 4, which is very, very important. So 4 times 1 fourth is just going to leave me with uh, x. 4 times negative 3 leaves me with a negative 12. And 4 times uh, negative 10 is equal to a negative 40. Then I add 12, add 12, and I have x equals a negative 28. Uh, now I go ahead and plug in negative 28 back into my equation. And negative 28 divided by or multiplied by 1 fourth is negative 7. Uh, minus 3 would be negative 10. Absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your inequality. Absolute value inequality. Or absolute value equation. Thanks.